Uh, okay, back to your question. <clears throat> it seemed like it took forever to uh, for me to float down. And you know, strangest sensation. As, of course, all the aircraft were gone, just complete silence. And what happens is air builds up under your your parachute, and then all of a sudden, whoosh, it lets it out, and then it builds up again, whoosh, oh, wow. all the all the way down. So anyway. Uh, when I got down close to the ground where I could see where I was, I was landing in a in a city park because there were people down there in the park. And, but I also saw about a dozen Wormock that were in, marching in formation. Oh, wow. So anyway, I came on down, and there were three big trees there, and I landed right in the middle of two of them. Uh, my parachute caught and it let me down just ever so gently. The only thing I did was I had a bleedy small finger but anyway by the time i hit the ground i just barely had time to unbuckle my parachute and raise my hands because they were right there after me. oh my goodness so it was an uh, i couldn't evade it was an immediate capture wow and how long were you how long were you held prisoner uh not terribly long because because you uh, said the war was almost over march, march 18th uh, was uh, the the date of our bombing, and the war ended in in May. So actually, I, I was a prisoner of war, but for a little less than two months. But long long enough to know that if you don't eat, you get hungry. <laughs> I'm sure. Oh wow, wow! There's just so much history. It's I I don't even know what to ask next because I I'm so <clears throat> excited to to talk to you about this. Well, uh, they. They, uh, they, but these dozen troops captured me, and uh, they just held me there <clears throat> until the lieutenant and his sergeant came. And uh, then he was asking me some questions, and and uh, I didn't speak German. And he acted like he was a little irritated, and he said something to the sergeant. He pulled his gun out, pointed it right here, and I said to myself, Okay, I'm going to die. You know, oh. when you're in a situation like that, yeah. you yell and scream. You just know what's going to happen. Right. That's it. And I said to myself, well, I'm going to die. But the, the, uh, the German officer told the, the uh, sergeant to holster his gun, and he put it back. So anyway, I lived through that day. But uh, anyway, they took us to me to a, a, a storefront and kept me there for – for the day, it was although it was behind, uh, it was still behind wire, more like chicken wire. And then that night they <clears throat> took me to an old barn while I was thrown in with some other guys, and we spent the night there. And then the, the next morning they took us out and uh, headed us to uh, in, for interrogation. I went to Stedno for interrogation. Oh my goodness! And there's a story that goes along with that too, which will come later. Now you, this was not. Was this your final mission? Was this the last time that you flew? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you said I've had enough. The war was over for me. Oh wow! So so after you got released um, out of the prison camp, you did, you came home. Were you finished with the military at that time? No, 